This is Jujutsu Kaisen, a manga that have been going viral lately and I might just have found the new formula for making a viral manga. It all revolves around three things that the mangaka Gege Akutami, the artist and author of JJK, have been using to go viral with his manga. So let's start with the first one, which is art style. Jujutsu Kaisen art is very sharp, which is the feature that makes JJK stands out the most. Sharp noses, sharp chins, sharp eyes, sharp hair. I mean, just look at this. He clearly could not care less about any physics principles. And even for the female characters, where a lot of mangakas would go more for the round and soft look to give them that cute appeal, he does not care and still uses these hard and sharp edges, which will make you identify the art style instantly. Like, it actually feels like Akutami is using a literal knife rather than a G-pen to draw the characters. Like, I want you to see here, right? Cut, 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 and there are just always these sharp edges and straight lines everywhere. Now take a look at this. Bro, hands in Jujutsu Kaisen? I'ma just say, sheesh! are definitely one of my favorite part in the art style and I could honestly do a whole video about them. Like the reason why I even started reading the manga in the first place is literally because when I saw this, I was like, damn, I really like hands bro. Yeah, maybe I just like hands too much, I don't know. Anyway, they are very sharp, especially where the knuckles are, and mostly boxy at the top of the hand. It has a vertical line for each finger bone in the hand, and there are also two horizontal lines at every knuckle in the fingers, which are followed by a lot of hatching, and all of this combined will give you these juicy looking hands. Akutami also does not care about clean line art, or it just might be because of the crazy schedule that Gege has which reminds me of Chainsaw Man a lot. But here's what made the art in Jujutsu Kaisen actually go viral, which is going to help you a lot if you are thinking about making your own manga. Now a lot of people hate and also love the art style of Jujutsu Kaisen, because it's something that they have never seen before, especially with the unclean line art and the insane amount of hatching. But this is exactly the point, the art is different, which is why it stood out. In my opinion, having a unique art style that people would either love or hate is way better than having just an average art style that no one would care about. I really hope that you get the point and that you use it for your advantage. But don't be too concerned about art style too much if you are still learning the basics of art, because art style will come after that. Now I wanted to draw in Jujutsu Kaisen art style to understand his style a bit more, and so I started by drawing the sketch. The pose that I was going for looks like this because I wanted to try to show both hands so I can replicate them like Gege Akutami. And while looking at a lot of references from JJK's manga, I started the actual drawing. It was my first drawing of the day so I wasn't really warm, but anyway, while I was sketching, I was trying to replicate the sharpness of the edges that I was talking about earlier, which I think went pretty okay. It was so fun to draw the hands, like I don't remember the last time that when I had that much fun while drawing the hands. I was also kinda drawing unclean on purpose, cause for the people who know my art, it usually looks very clean. But since the inking of Jujutsu Kaisen is very unclean, I just had to replicate it. And after a while, this is how it turned. No, it's not perfectly done like Gege, but I think it is alright. If you are liking this study so far, make sure to like the video, and if there is a manga that you want me to analyze next time, make sure to tell me in the comments. The second reason why Jujutsu Kaisen have been going absolutely viral is because of the amazing and unique character design of every single character. Like usually you would have a main character, some side characters, and one villain that stand out. But in JJK, all the characters have unique designs and backstories that brings the manga to a whole different level. Now I want you to imagine Jujutsu Kaisen, but the characters look like this. Or this. You know what I mean? So it just doesn't work. In order to make a manga really popular, you need to have a really unique character design. Just like in Demon Slayer or Chainsaw Man and all of the other Dark Shonen mangas. Now speaking of Chainsaw Man and Demon Slayer, this brings me to the next point which is making a dark shonen manga. Now, if you don't know what a dark shonen manga is, it's basically a shonen manga like Naruto or One Piece, but it has a more darker theme into it. And Jujutsu Kaisen is one of the best examples. And I will tell you exactly how JJK and Gege Akutami is using this genre in his advantage to get more reader to read his manga. Because it seems like the time for normal shonen manga is over, and we are entering the new era of shonen, which is dark shonen. 
Especially with the new series that Shonen Jump is bringing out, like Kagurabachi and Goku Rakuge, it looks like the new generation are finding this type of genre very entertaining. Which is a good thing for us manga artists, which is to know what is trending right now and what Shonen Jump is currently publishing. So if your goal is to get published in Shonen Jump, I think it's a really good idea to explore Dark Shonen a bit more. And so to help you with that, let's see why Jujutsu Kaisen is a really good Dark Shonen manga. First we have the mature themes, especially death. These are one of the biggest aspects of Jujutsu Kaisen, which are used as driving force for the characters, especially Itadori Yuji, to get the character development that is required to make the characters achieve something. So only hard work is not enough anymore in Dark Shonen, like what Naruto or Luffy used to do. The next big thing is that in JJK there isn't really rights or wrongs anymore, because the characters are very complex, and if you would put yourself in the shoes of any of these characters, considering what happened to them before, you would probably do the same. So morally, there is no white or black, but it's more of a grey tone. And the last thing that you can notice is that really dark atmosphere that gives every moment in the manga a lot of intense and tension, which is exactly the feeling that you should feel when you read a dark shonen manga. Now at the end, we can't hide the fact that one of the biggest reasons why Jujutsu Kaisen manga became a viral manga is of course the anime adaptation. Jujutsu Kaisen has one of the best anime adaptation out there and I really loved watching the anime. But for all the people who are saying that JJK is only viral because of the anime, yeah, I kinda get it, but I mean, if the manga was not good in the first place, it wouldn't have got an anime adaptation. Also one final thing that I wanted to say is that you shouldn't always be focused on what is viral or trending, cause you should also do what you like doing. Like I really like shonen anime and manga, but I don't really enjoy drawing action manga. Just because of the fact that I want to tell realistic and inspirational stories that others can relate to. But there's also nothing wrong with following the trends. If you look at DD Mark for example, he does follow the trends, yes. But but he also does like what he's doing, and he's drawing action because he really likes it. At the end, you can give everything a try and then see what works for you. By the way, if you want to take part of the one page manga contest where you can win a drawing tablet, make sure to check the top link in the description. And yeah, that was it for this video, I hope that this Jujutsu Kaisen study was helpful. Tell me in the comments about the manga that you want me to analyze next, and until then, you can watch my other videos, especially this where I show you how to start making manga in 2024. And yeah, see you there.